previously on my 90 day challenge. 15 years ago, I played a stripper and I was in excellent shape. I wanna get back there again. I need to bring my sexy bag. I'm back and talking about my back, my doctor said I can start my pole dancing classes again. So the pain that I've been experiencing is in my lower back. I've messed up my lower SI joint. And with that, I can't touch my toes, I can't do any lunges, I can't do any stretching. Um, my back is going into muscle spasms. I came here to Dr. Hilo because he's the best. I'm all of done here. Better, I feel it though. Do fine. Ooh! Drop your legs and push up. Right. That seems such an old move. But it's the way to prevent an injury. Now stand up and walk. Tell me how you feel. Mm -hmm. You have your personal trainer working in your core. Yes. You're doing the pole dancing. Just yes. be careful when you do that. And make sure you stretch before and after. And you should be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna elongate, I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna utilize my upper body for my 90 day challenge because I have about, I guess, 50 more days to get it together, to lean out and to show that I can get back in shape like I was when I did Players Club. Oh, it's a lot harder than it looks. A lot of people think they can come in here and in one day they can like flip upside down and climb and do all these crazy things. And it's not. It's a lot of upper body strength, um, the flexibility, which we work on each and every class. I would never imagine in a million years that such slow central movements can make your body warm and sweaty and sticky and sexy. go places that a lot of women don't go, they just kind of shut down. You have to open yourself up to a new experience and just really embrace it. Twirling around the pole, using upper body strength, it's not easy. My bruises are hurting, they're bruising. <laughs> My inner thighs. She's picking it up super quickly. Her body just likes to work this way. I'm sure by the time her 90 days are finished that this is going to become habit for me. She's not going to quit after 90 days. She's not just going to do this 90 day challenge. She's going to be progressed so much at that point and there's no limit with her. So each week I'm challenging myself to do more and more to get stronger and stronger, leaner and leaner and just the best that I can be for the rest of my 90 day challenge. If you're interested in seeing where I go from here, how well I do, and if I get better, because I will, go to lisaraychallenge.com. <laughs>